Hello everybody. We are TechPlay on team. We're here this time to talk to you about more spectrum for Wi-Fi in 6 GHz band. Wi-Fi is aimed at use within unlicensed spectrum. This enables users to access the radio spectrum without the need for the regulations and restrictions that might be applicable elsewhere. Wi-Fi by far is the most popular wireless technology, carrying bulk of the data traffic originated from wireless devices. The main bands used for carrying Wi-Fi are 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz where 5 GHz is again divided into four sub-bands as seen here. And if we talk about Wi-Fi congestion, this is current scenario of Wi-Fi spectrum which is getting congested day by day, and in coming years, much more traffic is expected than these current Wi-Fi bands won't be capable enough to handle this kind of traffic. As per the graph from Cisco, the dependency on Wi-Fi would only increase from here. 49% of traffic will originate from Wi-Fi in year 2020. Current rate of deployments and statistics clearly suggest that more spectrum is needed to take up the load and offload saturated channels in 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz band. Now the question comes, how much spectrum is needed more? There has been discussions, studies and clear indications that the world needs more spectrum for unlicensed technologies. Caution Associates conducted and survey and found out based on uses consumer and broadband access technology usage we will need approximate 1600 megahertz of spectrum to meet the demand in 2025 another important study conducted by Qualcomm confirms these results using a different methodology Qualcomm's quantification of 5 gigahertz unlicensed band spectrum needs concludes that to enable future LAN type application and usage scenarios Regulators should plan for around 1280 MHz of unlicensed spectrum centered around the 5 GHz band for use by unlicensed technologies. Hence, it is very critical and important to understand that unlicensed spectrum needs to be expanded to 6 GHz band. Unlicensed spectrum lowers barriers to entry, expands consumer connectivity, and allows more enterprises to take advantage of new business processes, thereby driving innovation and investment across the economy. Doing so sooner rather than later will compound the benefits of innovation by providing industry stakeholders regulatory certainty before completion of the next generation of wireless standards. And the next generation of Wi-Fi, called EE800 and 2.11X, is currently under development and could seamlessly support 6 GHz operations. This is the right time to make 6 GHz additional spectrum available, so that manufacturers of the equipment can support the same. The manufacturers can move to take advantage of new 6 GHz channels, which will deliver orders of magnitude more capacity and efficiency than prior generations of Wi-Fi. Recently around 30 entities signed the filling, which recommends use of 6 GHz midband for unlicensed technologies for meeting the rapid growth of the dependency on the unlicensed technology Wi-Fi. The companies were from all entities of the network equipment, internet media, software, cloud, semiconductor, enterprise, service provider and rural connectivity industries. Their proposal is in response to the FCC's call for comments on expanding flexible use in midband spectrum between 3.7 and 24 gigahertz. Specifically, they're proposing that the FCC consider establishing multiple 6 gigahertz subbands, ensuring that technical rules and interference protections for each segment of the band are appropriate to incumbents operating in the frequencies. Taken together, the four subbands can be referred to as one 6 GHz band. Concluding this presentation, we have discussed why Fi needs more spectrum to survive in coming future. So plans are being made to use 6 GHz band for Wi-Fi. In coming videos, we will be covering more topics on 5G and Wi-Fi. So stay tuned till then and please do not forget to follow us on social media.